Hello, on behalf of Alpha Omega Product Development Systems, in this video, I would like to take a few minutes to explain what ANSYS Learning Hub is and how it works. But before that, let me tell you about Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega Product Development Systems is a certified ANSYS Channel Partner company that deals with sales and support of ANSYS products. We are glad not only to help you purchase the right product for your problem, but also throughout the entire process of your simulation, we offer free service requests. If you have any problem with your product or your simulation, we will be with you, and you can reach out to our experienced engineers to help you out. To know more about Alpha Omega, you can check out our website at www.aopds.com. You can register for any ANSYS events and webinars for free through the links under the webinars and events. Feel free to subscribe to our blog and receive our news weekly. There are useful information about ANSYS products and what we offer on top of that. Now let's talk about ANSYS Learning Hub. ANSYS Learning Hub is essentially a website that has so many different contents for learning ANSYS products. Based on your interest or availability on the license, you can choose whichever product you would like to learn. Regardless of how much you are familiar with ANSYS products, the ANSYS Learning Hub is offering content from beginner level all the way to advanced level. So, even if you have not even opened ANSYS before and you have a fundamental understanding of engineering, ANSYS Learning Hub can guide you. Now, Let's take a look at ANSYS Learning Hub. Once you sign in, this is the very first page that you can customize it based on your interest or the license that you have. But essentially, you can check out all the ANSYS products learning content. Now, let's take a look at ANSYS campuses. Based on problems in the industry, ANSYS has categorized the problems into different campuses. And not only they can be learned individually, but also there are some coupled problems like FSI, which stands for Floyd Structure Interaction is available. The content for all campuses are the same. So let's take a look at a structures campus. In the structures campus, it is categorized in different types. One, we have a workflow of various topics for learning. Once you scroll down more, you'll see learning based on a subject that is categorized into the introduction and advanced. Based on your interest or the license that you have, you can select any of them to see the content of learning. As you can see, the introductory courses starts with ANSYS Mechanical Getting Started and goes over different ANSYS products for structures like Elastina and Autodyne. And in advanced courses, there are many advanced problems covered like mechanical APDL, fatigue analysis, heat transfer, and rigid body dynamics. As you see, the contents are being categorized into LR, which stands for Learning Room, and SP, which stands for self-paced learning. The only difference is in LR, you can download all the contents at once, and in SP, you can go over them individually. I should mention the videos of learning are included in self-paced learning or SP. Now, let's take a look at SP. Once you see the content, it's showing 16 hours of learning. You need to click on Enroll first to be able to see and use them. Let's click on Start Course to check the content. In each module, you will have five different files, which is a video, three PDF files, and hands-on input files. Now, let's take a look at the video. Each video has a subtitle 
and a table of contents, which if you are interested in a specific subject, you can click on it and it just jump into the particular subject and see how the instructor is working on it. The instructor for each part of the learning will raise a question and then it will show you how to answer the question. Now, let's take a look at a few seconds of the learning video. To this end flange surface by choosing RMB Static Structural Insert Fixed Support. And I'll use the same procedure to apply a fixed support to the opposite end flange surface. After the video, there are four different files, three PDF files and the hands-on input files. The first PDF file is the learning objectives of the course, which will tell you what are the expectations of the instructor and what would you learn after watching the video. And at the end of it, there are additional learning resources. The second PDF file is exactly the step-by-step -step guide introduction of the same file in the video, but in a PDF format. And you can see exactly what the instructor have done by details. And the last PDF file is another example that you can practice whatever you learned. The details of this practice is also available in a PDF format, which is an excellent practice. And at the end, all the geometry file in STP format and workbench file is available for downloading and working on them. I should mention the contents that you see in this specific module and topic is a standard throughout the entire ANSYS Learning Hub. For further questions and how to subscribe to ANSYS Learning Hub, feel free to reach out to Alpha Omega email address or call the sales. I would like to thank you for checking out this video. Please feel free to connect with us through our email address or simply call for any further questions. We would like to hear from you. Thank you.